Every single day, it's estimated that up to 150 species of plant and animal life disappear forever from the face of the Earth. Most of them haven't even yet been discovered by man. It really is a shame, especially for people who love living things with a passion. From the biggest living land mammals to an animal that lives for hundreds of years, here are 10 animals about to go extinct. Number 10. Elephants. Which elephant species, though? Because there's kind of a few of them. Well, basically all of them. Elephants once roamed throughout the world. They even once called North America home, if you can believe that. Today, only two populations of wild elephants survive. One in Africa, and one in Asia. Of the 740,000 elephants still living on the planet, 700,000 of them are in Africa, where they're subdivided into two species, the bush and the forest elephants. The forest elephants are facing grave danger due to deforestation. This could see them wiped out within a decade. The bush elephant is faring somewhat better, but still faces persistent problems with habitat encroachment and poaching. Three subspecies comprise the Asian elephant, and they're faring much worse than their African cousins. The bulk of the surviving Asian elephants are the Indian subspecies, while the Sri Lankan subspecies has only around 6,000 elephants still alive. The Sumatran variety, however, are now down to about 2,800 individuals. Some have been poached, while others get caught up in traps meant to keep foraging animals out of palm oil plantations. Number 9. The Sayola. Chances are you might not have even heard of the Sayola, an unusual species of cattle. This is because they're a relatively new discovery, being first found in Vietnam in 1992. Chances are you might not have even heard of the Sayola, an unusual species of cattle. This is because they're a relatively new discovery, being first found in Vietnam in 1992. We don't know exactly how many of them are still living in the wild, but what we do know is that despite being related to livestock animals, the Sayola deals with captivity poorly, surviving for only a scant few months. Because of their rarity, they were given the name the Asian Unicorn. These animals tend to avoid humans, but humans are creeping on its strip of habitat through the Anamite Mountain Range. It's a solitary creature for the most part, meaning that if it gets cut off from its range, an individual may not have the chance to breed with other Sayolas. While humans gather more information about the Sayola, we may actually be watching a species disappear before we even had the chance to understand it. Number 8. The Yangst Finless Porpoise. Finless porpoises can be found in the coastal waters across the Pacific and Indian Oceans. These populations aren't really at the brink of extinction, but it is considered threatened. However, their population in the Yangtze River, which numbered around 1,800 a mere 10 years ago, can be down to 500 or even less today. Wide-scale infrastructure projects on the river and industrial pollutants have affected the ecosystem of their natural habitat. This, combined with bycatch fishing and other boating activities, has already driven the Baji dolphin to extinction. And now it's threatening the lives of the few remaining finless porpoises. The pollution of the Yanks also contributes vastly to pollution in the ocean. It's not only these porpoises that are suffering. An alligator species that also lives in the river decline as well, with only about 120 left. The problems facing the Yanks are, in other words, not just isolated to one species, but to the entire ecosystem. And ecosystems that live downstream of the river as well. Number 7. The Vancouver Island Marmot. Native to the southwestern Canadian island from which they get their name, these marmots live in small colonies which consist of only three to five animals. Small as they are, they're indispensable contributors to the development and maintenance of their ecosystem. These herbivores are seed dispersers and pollinators for the island's plants and grasses. They also build complex burrow systems in order to stave off predators, and these tunnels are used by other animals as well, providing homes to insects and smaller mammals. Their tunnels aren't really that effective when it comes to deterring predators, though. A shocking 83% of their yearly deaths come from predators like wolves, cougars, and golden eagles. These rates are increased through logging, which gives the animals fewer places to hide. Their population has been so thoroughly decimated that the IUCN estimates that only about 90 mature adults are still alive. Added in long-term environmental pressures expected to occur through climate change, which scientists believe will radically reshape British Columbia to resemble the Southern California desert, it kind of creates a grim picture. Number 6. The Sumatran Tiger The Sumatran Tiger is the last of the Sunda Island Tigers, a group of tigers living in Indonesia. Its two cousins, the Bali and Javan Tigers, have already gone extinct in the early 20th century. Now, with an estimated population of only about 400 individuals in the wild, it might not be long before the Sumatran Tiger follows suit. Deforestation remains one of the biggest issues for the tiger, who prefers unkempt wilderness to even modestly developed areas. 
Agricultural development for palm oil and acacia remain two of the biggest issues facing this rare tiger. They are frequent targets of poachers as well, as a few of these big cats have the tendency to venture into more open areas. Unfortunately, law enforcement of conservation efforts has sustained such poaching practices. While some efforts are underway to bolster the population, this beautiful tiger might disappear in as little as a couple of decades. Number 5. The Malayan Tiger once plentiful in the places they used to call home, it's estimated that there are only about 250 to 340 Malayan tigers still on Earth, holed up in a few forested areas in Malaysia and a small chunk of land in Thailand. They are a subspecies of the Indo-Chinese tiger, which is another tiger species that isn't doing too well. Poaching for meat and traditional medicine still happens in these parts of the world, and the tiger's habitat is also being lost to development. Right now, there is a counted population of 54 of these tigers, all of which descended from just 11 who were kept in captivity. This in turn means it's a little more difficult to sustain a wild population. In fact, it's called too shallow. Not much is known about the behavior of the tigers, which makes conservation efforts that much harder. The lack of information about them could mean that the Malayan tiger could remain in permanent danger. Number 4. Gorillas there are only two species of gorilla in the world, the eastern and the western, and both populations are not doing too good. They're now placed at the brink of extinction because of poaching, the pet trade, Ebola, deforestation, and human warfare. The western species is further subdivided into two subspecies, the western lowland gorilla and the cross river gorilla. The western lowland has around 95,000 individuals, while less than 300 cross river gorillas remain. The eastern gorilla is even more in peril, with only about 3,800 eastern lowland gorillas and 880 mountain gorillas surviving. All these four gorilla subspecies are vastly intelligent. Most gorillas held in captivity come from the western population, but even captive gorillas are facing a crisis of their own, as a mysterious heart ailment plagued gorillas in zoos. Number 3. The Tapanuli Orangutan the orangutan, along with humans, gorillas, and chimpanzees, are members of the great ape family. They're the only species of great ape in Asia and are a bit more distantly related to us than the gorilla or our very close cousins, the chimps and bonobos. All three species of orangutans, the Sumatran, the Bornean, and even the recently discovered Tapanuli, are critically endangered, with around 60,000 surviving across all three species. The Tapanuli are the ones closest to extinction, estimated to only have around 800 individuals surviving in the wild. The Sumatran, which lives near the Tapanuli, is only distantly related, only has around 6,600 individuals remaining. The Bornean orangutan, which is oddly more closely related to the more geographically distant Tapanuli, has a modestly more robust population, though it's only around 54,000 individuals across four subspecies. There are ongoing efforts to save our intelligent cousin species, but poaching and deforestation stand largely in the way. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's pick is a species of rhino that most people haven't even heard of. And now that they're so close to extinction, we figured we'd introduce them to you guys before they're gone for good. Get to meet this fascinating animal next with number two, the Javan Rhino. Rhinos are usually more associated with the African continent. However, what you might not know is that there are Asian species in the rhino family. The Indian rhino is one of them and is considered near threatened, but compared to its cousin, the Javan Rhino, they're definitely faring much better. The Javan rhino is now only confined to the island of Java after hunting and deforestation drove it from the rest of Southeast Asia. The Vietnam War also severely drove down the population of the rhino as its habitat was destroyed. As of making this video, only 60 Javan rhinos survive in a wildlife preserve at the very western tip of the island. There are active efforts being done to save the species, but disease and inbreeding may still eventually cause this rhino's extinction. There are a few remaining populations off of Java that have been spotted over the years, but they're few and far between and one of these populations was driven to extinction in Vietnam in 2010, leading to few options to introduce new rhinos to the breeding stock. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Pinta Island Tortoise Lonesome George was seemingly the last of his kind, a member of the Pinta Island subspecies of giant tortoises that live in the aforementioned island in the Galapagos. When George died, it was thought that the subspecies had completely died off, but there is a twist of this story worthy of a movie. Galapagos tortoises were frequently kept on ships for food, but sometimes dumped off when no longer needed. 
Isabella Island was a popular dumping ground for tortoises across the various subspecies, and it's these discarded tortoises that made it possible for a dead species to come back to life. An expedition to the island in 2007 found something intriguing. Eight young tortoises seem to be the first generation hybrids of Pinta Island tortoises and another subspecies. With 2,000 tortoises living on the island, that means a Pinta Island tortoise is likely hiding somewhere on the island. So far, a total of 17 hybrids have been found, and future expeditions could yield more. Heck, we might even find the parent of those hybrid reptiles. That discovery will definitely remove the Pinta Island tortoise from the extinct animals list, but that depends entirely if this lone survivor can be found. There are definitely a lot more animals that are close to extinction. Too many to include in this video, actually. So if you want to know more about them, let us know down below in the comments and we'll be glad to make a follow-up video. For now, please enjoy watching the channel's other amazing content. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.